Why are we talking about sulfur right now? Um, interesting, because it's been around since Roman times and suddenly we're talking about a lot more than we used to. Uh, it's an irritant, mild at best, um, uh, difficult and painful at worst. <laughs> it's uh, something that we've had to try and understand and understand how we can use less of it how in some cases we can use none at all. And the search for that, uh, as many people are, are, are moving, um, are, are moving towards or moving with, uh, investigating, uh, trialing. Uh, this is um, based well before any sort of winemaking decisions come on. It's based in site selection. It's based in uh, the appropriateness of of a vinifera with its site, it's based in the balance of fruit that comes from that. It's also in the ability to allow the wine to uh, take its path and not arrest it at any time because if you arrest it, um, the wine is already unstable, it wants to move, it's, it's like being forced to stop. But if you allow it to carry on and you allow it to have contact with its nutrition, with its lees, with its self-finding, its self-clarification process. The further you go down that line, the less you have to use it. You can go all the way through almost to vinegar as in, uh, and, and have a wine like perhaps uh, Van Jean, a yellow wine from the Jura. You know, it's been five years on floor, it's been five years untopped in its, uh, in its barrel. It's, it's way further down that line. Uh, it's completely stable because of that. It needs very little or no sulfur. Um, we work with aromatics, we work with Riesling and, and, and Gewürz Tremina. We can work in a way that, that brings us down there and strengthens the, the wine. Already they're suited to our site, so they're balanced. They don't have something that needs to be adjusted or needs to be moved. They come, we can allow them to have oxygen contact. We can allow them to pick up phenolics because those phenolics are noble. They're not things we, we want to remove from the wine, we want to include them. So we allow it all the way down, and so issuing it into bottle is simply a process of, um, of uh, stabilization of, of and, and that's where sulfites come in for us, is right at the end, just before it goes into bottle. And it's really important at that stage for us uh, to maintain the life of the wine for the next, for the next person, uh, for the next generation, otherwise it, it will carry on moving.